the basic version of attribute exploration can be extended in many ways. One thing is that we can add new objects to the context not only when we get them from, from an oracle as, a, as an answer to the query, but actually at any time. Every such new object, provided that it comes from the domain that we explore, only makes the closure of attribute sets A closer to their true closures, to their closures in the um, large context, in our domain context. We can also add a valid implication to our set L at any time. If, for example, we're exploring the properties of natural numbers and we know that uh, a number cannot be even and odd at the same time, then we can add the implication even and odd implies everything. Or if we are exploring loopless directed graphs and we know that strongly connected implies rooted, then we can also add this implication at any time. In the beginning of the algorithm, or at the point when we understand that this implication is indeed valid. Uh, what we'll get in the end is not necessarily the canonical basis of GMI. Uh, instead, we'll get a cover for the difference between the implication theory of GMI, our domain context, and that of extra implications. So we'll get uh, a set of implications that summarizes what we what we haven't known about our domain context before we started exploration. Another very desirable modification is uh, that it would be really good not to have to specify counterexamples completely. If our mm, domain expert is a human being, uh, he or she may not know everything about the object uh, he provides us as a counterexample it knows that it's a counterexample. It doesn't satisfy uh, the implication A to B because it has A but doesn't have B. But perhaps it doesn't know anything about the other properties of this object. So, is it necessary to provide the values of all attributes for the counterexample? Well, no. It turns out that it's not necessary and we're going to study a modification of the attribute exploration algorithm that allows us to use incompletely specified counterexamples.